Hey guys, and welcome to Camp and Russ. This year, uh, I've done a lot around the house, um, but with it being the winter time, I'm working now on the truck to reinforce a couple different things. Uh, I am going to go with bigger tires on the truck. Those are uh, 275s are 1520s, and they're just a regular all-terrain tire. Michelin, I always got Michelins, I love them. Um, but I want to do a lot more overnighters off-road with just the truck and not the trailer, the Harley trailer. Um, yeah, so I'm going to look at some uh, probably some beefier mud tires to go on it. I'm also going to be reinforcing my sleeping ladder rack here. Um, you, as you can see, I've got brackets going on the inside here and going up. I'm going to put probably like a couple right in the middle on both sides. I do have my road showers on each side. Right now I took everything off just so I can kind of play around and reinforce it. I am going to be adding a couple other things to the, uh, the gear. Um, some tracks that I can get out of the snow with. I will be putting a hitch on. I did get the logos on, which is really cool. Hey! And uh, being now being an overlander. Yeah! Overland bound. Uh, membership 21556. Cool! Um, I am also going to be putting a hitch uh a wench not a hitch a wench on the front part so just kind of tricking a little couple things a little bit out here and there on the top part too um you can see my luggage rack up there i did put a ladder on it which makes it real easy to get up and down oh I'll get up there i can also get up through the back part um i am going to be designing like in this part here that kind of slides in and slides out on some hinges for an extra solar panel. I do keep up one solar panel up there, uh, kind of a floppy one, not a hard mounted one, a soft, you know, um, I think it's sunshine. I got the description down below, the one I have, but I will be putting on another one on here. So I have, I'll have two 110 solar power um, panels. And then, of course, with my cube that I have in the back, uh, that has solar panels that fold right out on it and stuff. A lot of people are going with these jackeries. They're a lot smaller, which makes it real nice. I do a lot more. Uh, my overnighters are, end up being like seven, eight days. So that makes it real nice. Absolutely love my ARB freezer refrigerator. But I did take out the um, my solar uh, generator. And then I always have an extra battery hooked up to it too. So I'm going to redesign this just a little bit different. I'm not sure yet. Uh, make a little bit more room out of it. And as you can see, I got two propane bottles. Um, little 13 pounders. They last forever. I mean, I've had one now all summer. And I've used, and I do a lot of cooking. And I've eh, probably used about three quarter of it. But I always have a backup. So I'm going to also rig up one of those to hook up and have a longer hose that I'll take up into my tent for the winter time or if I get start getting cold. Just kick that on, hook it up to my little Mr. Buddy and it'll work just fine. Uh, the one things I am going to be doing a little bit different is I'm going to be putting a flat aluminum on here so it's not so uppity down, uppity down. And I'm also going to be designing it to where I can put my stove. Um, I do have a Camp Chef stove and instead of setting up a table right beside it, this is just going to flip out and then the legs are going to come out. So I'll have like a little extension right here, which I think it'll turn out pretty cool. I do have my ladder so I can always unfold that. That makes it a great feature. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of redesigning on, on the truck this year.
I mounted from my GoPro that I'm going to tie into the videos, my iPhone right there. So all I gotta do is push a button, drive, and talk to you guys. And I think it, it, it profiles the, the right angle. <laughs> <laughs> it is up and down. Maybe I can spin it around and do a horizontal thing. I might be able to do that. And right beside it, on the other side of the steering wheel, uh, oh, excuse me, whew, as you can see on the GoPro, is my iPad that I'll have. So while I'm driving, I can actually not focus on the phone, and I've got my boom right here. Whoosh, right on my dash and then my GoPro on the other side videoing taking that next step you know it's kind of cool not spending a lot of money um, but I do see where guys like invest in a couple of GoPros you know one facing you one going the other way or uh, you know like I said you could actually oh you got to press that you got to read it. Read it, Russ. Read it where it says press. And it might stick. <laughs> got to read the instructions. You know, that's the one thing I got to give credit to. Some people read the instructions. Some people don't. Some people just look at the pictures and say, I can do this. Not a problem. I kind of do a little bit of both. All right, guys. Peace out. See ya. Whenever I go camping, I always pick up some really good meat. And there's a place called Marine Market in Alpena, Michigan. They've been here for like ever in a coon's age. And I've been doing a couple of different videos and stuff like that on how I cook my meats. Anyway, let's go get some meat. All right. And this is what pretty much they carry. So they carry a variety of really good meats and they're getting into seafood and stuff like that. So, hey, hey bro, how's it going? Good. Uh, I am here because I am going to be doing some barbecuing okay. and I am getting ready for 2020 camping season so I'm coming up with all kinds of different recipes and stuff like that awesome. but uh, you guys you guys are here located in Alpena Michigan yep and uh, how long have you guys been here uh, we've been here since probably 53 in this building 1953 yes sir over a yeah. hundred years yep in business since 1888 Wow same owners or did it, no, pass it, it passed down well they passed over about three years ago okay to the Shepler and Smith families Besides that, it was uh, the Kanoskis that owned it previously. Nice. Yeah. So what we're going to probably do is I will introduce like a different, every time I go out, I'll do like a different meat, either an English roast or I'll do some pork chops or some chicken. Now, you guys also harvest deer, don't you? Um, if you for hunting your, season. If you bring in your own venison, we'll take care of it for you. You okay. can make sausage or breakfast sausage, Polish sausage, pretty much anything under the sun you can think of. And you guys smoke it also? We smoke it as well, yeah. Nice. So, and I, over here, they've got a variety of different smoked meats, uh, sausages, bologna, um, all kinds of different things. All done here in-house. All done in-house? Yep. Yeah, Very cool. wood-fired smoker, grandfathered in. There's not too many around anymore. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, and then they offer a variety of different, uh, let's see, I know I always get the bacon and uh, uh, some brats, I always get those. I also do a lot of the, uh, the round steaks, New York strips, uh, and then we got the butterfly pork chops, and then we go down here to the chicken breasts and stuff. Uh, I'll let him get back to work. And it's Ryan. Correct. Yeah, Ryan. See, I'm <laughs> not that bad in names now. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, from Marine Market in Alpena, Michigan. Okay, as you can see, it is windy. Ooh, ah, 
and it's cold. Yeah, uh, it's cold down here by the wall. Spinning around, she can hear the waves crash. So, carry it around. Ooh. Big snow bay, big snow bay. But you know, the uh, the water is not as frozen as normally it is. But I see a lot of ice crystals, like going crash, crash. Ooh, a lot of crystals. Okay, I wonder how much the cold weather is going to like suck the battery out of this camera like going... Anyway Hear the waves? I'll spin it around Okay guys, well you know what to do. Touch the bell, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Take care, be safe all. Bye.